The topic I want to discuss is a powerful tool for biostratigraphy correlation of petroleum exploration and production in the Cenozoic Deep Offshore Niger Delta, Nigeria. The following is the outline of this presentation and I will follow the outline sequentially. Introduction The unbalanced record of oil and gas in the onshore Niger Delta Basin, coupled with an increase in demand for oil and gas, resulted in shifting of exploration and production of petroleum resources from onshore to deep offshore Niger Delta. Shown below is the map of the location of the study area, that is the Niger Delta. Up there, up here, is the onshore Niger Delta. Then down is the offshore Niger Delta. Because of the problem mentioned earlier on, that encountered in the onshore Niger data resulted in movement of exploration and production of oil and gas to the offshore Niger data. And the deep offshore Niger data required higher stratigraphic resolution. These challenges can only be met by a quantitative stratigraphic method. For example, graphic correlation of Shaw 1964. And the graphic correlation is the main beam of this study. Aims and objective of the study. The present study aims at using the graphic correlation tool to determine the relative rate of accumulation of sediments, to determine strata geometry variation due to either condensation, erosion, unconformity faults that occur in the rocks penetrated in the studied well. And lastly, correlation of biostratigraphic and sedimentological events in the five study wells. First and foremost, I would like to define the biostratigraphy and graphic correlation. Biostratigraphy is the subdivision and correlation of rock succession on the basis of their fossil content as it was defined by Simons 2019, while the graphic correlation is the visual display of the correlation between two sections, having rocks of similar age and their relative rate of rock accumulation or sedimentation are the same, based on total stratigraphic range of forces that contained in them. The, this definition is given by Shaw, 1964. Materials and methods. Materials used in this study are five exploration wells designated as A, B, C, D, and E with their palynological information derived from well dish cutting samples they were used to produce a graphic correlation framework for this study. In the formation of graphic correlation framework, well E was se selected as the composite standard section. This is done because it is the deepest, densely sampled, most fossiliferous, fossils in this well ranges relatively 
complete and there is no evidence of major fascist discontinuities. The true stratigraphic range for each taxa of sediment of each taxa were evaluated were evaluated the format for for a graphic correlation is an x cross plot on which palynostratigraphic data that is last extinction and first evolution appearances these are designated as bases and tops respectively of all 44 taxa taxa recorded in the five wells these were subjected to linear molding using past that is paleontological statistic software well e was plotted on the x axis against wells a b c and d on the y axis the lines of best fit of the graph known as line of correlation loc were drawn correlation equation were derived from the locs slopes and intercept values slope values was were used to indicate relative rate of sediment accumulation results the five wells were dated based on the uh, uh, index palynomials that was recovered that were recovered from these wells the diagram below shows the shows that the five wells a b c d and e belongs to p700 zones to p900 zones of fme tall 1978 and the boundaries between the p700 and p900 zone of each well were shown above the middle late Miocene boundary was marked by quantitative top regular occurrence of racy monocopitis ions at depths 1289 and 1265 meters in wells A uh, in wells E and D is well D and E. The Maoshin Pliocene boundaries was marked by the quantitative base occurrence of Reti Stefano Copitis gracilis at 548 and 2185 meters in wells A and B. This is well A and B, while the Paleocene Pleistocene boundaries was marked by quantitative base occurrence of Podocarpus melangenus. This dating from the biostratigraphic events in the studied well, and this will be discussed further later. The next slide shows the biostratigraphic events, that is, events of last appearance datums and first appearance datums in wells A, B, C, D, and E. The last appearance datum 
of and first appearance datum of well E were plotted on the X axis while the that of well A, B, C and D were plotted against uh, are plotted on the Y axis. The next the next uh, slide talk about relative rate of sediment sediment accumulation. The graphic correlation of composite section well E against wells A, B, C, and D revealed that for one meter of sediment accumulation in wells E, it is equivalent to only 0 0.8794, 0 0.756, 0 0.8677, and 0 0.86. 80 meters of rock that deposited in wells A, B, C, and D, respectively. This is this is shown in the graph, that is the graphic uh, graphic correlation plots of the uh, four wells against the uh, against the composite sections. Graph A shows the plot of composite section against well A. That of B shows the uh, uh, plot of well E against the well B. While graph C showing the uh, plot of well E against well C. And D shows the plot of well E against the well D. And we can see the line of correlation in each of the, of the graph. And when we calculate the slope of this line of uh, correlation, we find out that uh, when one meter of uh, sediment deposited in well E, only less than one were, were deposited in well A, B, C, and D. This means that this means that there are more erosion or accommodation space created in well A, B, C, and D than that of well E. That's the reason why we got that uh, result. Iatosis. The a graphic correlation horizontal terraces was were delineated in wells A, C, and D, as can be shown in the graph above. This is the uh, terraces 1, terraces 2, and terraces 3. This is as a result of the, continu the continuities in the, in the uh, accumulation of sediment for a period of time. The, this terraces is termed condensed section. Because they are called, they are caused by condensation of sediment that had attenuated the continuity of the sediment accumulation in section A, C, and D. While there were continuous or steady deposition of sediment in wells B and E. The iotesis are designated as condensed sections. 1, 2, and 3 in wells A, C, and D, respectively. The ages of this condensed section are early Pliocene, late Pliocene, and late Pleistocene in each of the in each of the condensed sections. The 
graph also give us the uh, equation of correlation whereby the uh, biostratic events and uh, sedimentological events were correlated and at different depths of the wells and the first the table is showing the different biostratigraph events and the sedimentological events all in all three quantitative base occurrence of uh, uh, biostratigraphic events were delineated and three sedimentological events were delineated in the study and these were correlated at different depths as we can see in the table at different depths of well A, well B, well C, well D, and well E. Conclusion. Palynological analysis of the Miocene Pleistocene sediment from Niger database generated by stratigraphic ranges of 44 taxas of palynomos, which are assembled into chronostratigraphic framework with the help of graphic correlation technique developed by Alan Saw in 1964. Graphic correlation methods show that there is either more erosion or less accommodation space in well E than other four wells analyzed. For, for one meter of raw accumulated in well E, less of rock rocks were deposited in wells A, B, C, and D. A condensed section was delineated in wells A, C, and D and interpreted to be due to starvation of sediment associated with marine transgression during early Pliocene, late Pliocene, and late Pleistocene period. Regional correlation of three biostratigraphic events and three sedimentological events in the studied five wells were carried out. The findings in these studies will be useful in regional correlation of well section understanding sequence stratigraphy and establishing the chronostratigraphic framework for a basin. Hence, graphic correlation has added the following to other methods. Speedy accumulation of the speedy calculation of the relative rate of accumulation of rock, quick detection of missing strata and rapid correlation of geological events via equation of correlation.